各位同学，大家好，欢迎收看今天英文翻译第七次播出。我们今天主题是增词法第二部分。首先介绍跟我一块主持节目的魏老师。嗯，大家好，欢迎收看。那我是魏彻的 ，and、uh, let's get rolling <笑>。好，我们开始吧哈。啊，首先我们想介绍今天的呃翻译原理 （principles of translation）。延续上个讲次的主题，我们今天继续谈增词法。在中英翻译中，增词法通常是我们常常用的技巧之一，因为它可以使译文自然生动，语义很清楚。基本上，增词法除了上次谈的情况以外，还有一些情形，今天我们来介绍。第一个，我们增加虚字，使得语气生动自然；然后我们可以呃增加词来表示时态。再来，我们增词是为了解说，还有扩充语义。最后，我们增词是为了润饰文字。好，先为大家介绍一些例子来说明这些状况。首先，我们看增加虚字，使语义生动自然。英文部分，请魏老师帮我念。The weather is really beautiful. 我们照字面先翻一下，这天气真是风和日丽啊。我们真字翻翻看，这天气可真是风和日丽啊！我加一个虚字“可”字，让语气更加的强烈一点。下面 ，It's nothing but an excuse。我们先字面翻一下，这只不过是个借口。我们增加字来改译一下，这只不过是个借口罢了。所以，我们加个罢了，在语气上比较顺。那这是一个虚字。You say you are good at mathematics. I'd like to see how good you are. 我们照字面先翻。你说你数学很强，我想看看你多强。我们来增个字翻翻看。你说你数学很强，我倒是想要看一看你多强。那么这个倒是呢，这个虚字进来，就让我们整个语气比较强烈一点，可能也是很不满，说我要倒要看看哈。那这语气加进去了。好，第二种状况，我们增词是要表示时态。We saw the peddler from time to time. 我们时常看到这个沿街叫卖的小贩，这个、字面上来翻哈。那我们再加个词看看。过去我们时常看到这个沿街叫卖的小贩。通常在呃英文翻译的时候，我们时态都不大翻出来的哈。譬如说 ，She was sad. 他很悲伤，其实是他当时很悲伤，对不对？有时候我们不会这样说，把时态出来。可是如果你要表示一个上下文的时候，他以前怎么样，大概我们就要加出加上他过去怎么样，这是时态的表示法。所以我们增加词进去哈。好，我们看下个例子。The shop assistant has been busy this afternoon. 我们字面翻翻看，今天下午这位店员很忙。哎，我们要加个词哈。今天下午，这位店员一直很忙。为什么加一直很忙？因为在英文的时态 ，has been busy 是个完成式，表示一直的动作。所以，我们说一直的话，比较接近原文的意思。We had hoped that you would be able to come to the tea party, but you did not. 好，我们字面翻译一下。我们希望你能来参加这场茶会，但是你没来。我们要增加字哈，改译一下。我们原本希望你能来参加这场茶会，但是你没来。为什么要加原本？因为英文里面 had hoped 是表示过去一个没有实现的希望，所以原本希望你来，但是你没有来。这样子呃，把这个时态的这个意思加进去才是正确的哈。好，呃，第三个状况，我们说加词是要解说，要扩充语义。例子试试看。She used to do aerobics on Saturdays. 照字面来翻，她以前每逢周六都做有氧运动。我们要加词来翻了。她以前每逢周六都做有氧运动，现在不做了。英文这个 used to 它是表示过去的习惯。翻译的时候你要说，咦，她以前有，现在没有了，所以我们加个字，现在不做了，这个比较清楚。To protect books from insects, 
they may be exposed to the sunlight. 我们照字面翻一下，为了书籍避免虫，可以将它们放置在阳光下。听起来不是很顺哈，我们要加字了。为了避免虫咬，可以将书籍放置在阳光下晒。这个 insects 只翻成虫，怪怪的。啊，不轻要加个虫咬这个书哈，比较清楚。那放在阳光下干嘛呢？阳光下晒哈，这个就比较清楚了，也比较顺。好，下面。Life expectancy has been raised considerably in Taiwan. 我们字面翻一下，在台湾，生命预期已大大延长了。听起来怪怪的哈，要加一个字，在台湾人们的平均寿命已大大延长了。这个 life expectancy 字面就是说生命预期，好像没有办法达到意思哈，要把它加些字进去哈。我们的平均寿命。好，我们看下一句。A caterpillar can turn into a butterfly. 这常常讲的哈，毛毛虫也能转变成蝴蝶。这当然很好了，但是有没有更好的方法呢？我加字看看。丑陋的毛毛虫也能蜕变为美丽的蝴蝶。那么这个 caterpillar 变成 butterfly， 其实意思蛮深的哈，是指很丑变成美，所以我们就干脆加几个字，丑陋的啊，还有一个美丽的，来凸显它转变的一个呃对照。好，下面。Death may result from loss of fluids。字面翻翻看，失去液体可能引起死亡，我们要加一字来说哈。体内失水过多可能引起死亡。这个 loss of fluid 是说失去液体，可是跟死亡之间的关系不是很清楚。如果你说体内失水过多，就比较清楚了哈。好，我们还要加一些字来把意思清楚。我们最后看状况是说，我们为什么加字呢？让它来个润饰文字，更漂亮一点。好，我们举例说明一下。The global economic depression might prevent our country from achieving 7.5 percent economic growth this year. 好，我们字面翻一下。全球经济不景气，很可能使我国今年的经济成长不能达到百分之七点五。这翻的也不错了。但是我想加一个词哈，我们试试看。全球经济不景气，很可能使我国今年的经济成长不能达到百分之七点五的目标。哎。这是不是觉得比较顺一点？我加上一个，因为 achieve 是达到，那我们要顺着的目标哈。好，下面。The opposition demanded stricter control of prices. 我们字面来翻，反对党要求更为严格的物价控制。其实也可以了，但是有没有想想看，可以增加几个字哈？反对党要求实施更为严格的物价控制。实施什么一个控制？那这个句子更加明显、更明确。The teacher is at once strict and tender. 好，先来初次意义看，老师同时严格与温柔，这当然也可以。可是好像要加点字比较顺哈。啊，我们试试看，老师兼具严格与温柔两种特质。我们看看。At once, 两个同时又兼具什么什么两种特质，好像比较呃文雅一点哈。好，下面。The children walked along the beach, collecting seashells. 字面翻，孩子们沿着海滩走，捡贝壳。我来加字翻哈。孩子们沿着海滩一路走，一路捡贝壳。因为英文里面这个 collecting 这个现在分词。它要表示连续或者是一个附带的状态，所以我们一路怎么样，一路怎么样就比较生动。The old professor has become isolated, defensive, and humorless. 好，我们照字面先翻。老教授已经变得孤立、设防，甚至无幽默感。也可以了。那我想用四字来呃翻翻看，比较漂亮哈。老教授已经变得十分孤立，处处设防。甚至连幽默感也丧失殆尽，好像这个呃润饰的文字哈比较像中文啊，蛮雅的哈。好，所以呃上面我们这些例子，你发现增词法使得译文通顺自然，增加呃虚字，让这个原文的语气出来。我们增加时间的字汇，表示这个时态上的不同。你也可以增加一些字来解说，来扩充原文的意思。
，那最后你可以增加字，让这个文字看起来这个润饰过哈，有文采啊。所以增词法是使译文达到。啊，真的是信达雅的标准啊，这是很重要的技巧。那么啊，这个技巧的基本概念是，你要增词不增意，不可以把意思变掉了哈。好，这是我们今天呃、啊、这个呃我们原理部分哈。好，那我们先休息一下。现在到我们的 famous quotation 部分，中外名言。Teach him to deny himself。教他如何自治。我们这个如何是加进去的字哈。好，下来。The road is always better than the inn。在人生的征途上。前程总是比客店重要。我们增加在人生的征途上。Life is too short to be little。因为人生太短促，不必为微不足道之琐事伤神。这个微不足道、伤神都是我们增加进去的，让这个翻译看起来比较好。好，那这是我们今天的中外名言部分。嗯，希望你能够记起来，很多字都蛮漂亮的哈。那我们下面来看看。我们今天会画的一些单字哈部分，这个 vocabulary and expressions。Down， 已完成的。To go， 尚待处理。Draw a blank， 没找到。Lost and found. 失物招领处 Chain. 链条 Obviously. 明显地 Duplicate. 复制 Sign language. 手语 University graduate. 大学毕业生 Private. 私人的 Passable, 可通行的。In particular, 特别的。Turn out, 结果是。Somewhat, 有点，稍微。Fluent, 流利的。Make it a point, 决定要做。Traffic division, 交通部门。Downtown, 市区。Landlord. 房东 Unlock. 开锁 Reimburse. 偿还归还 Undercharge. 收费过低 Rent. 租 Time honored. 古老而受尊重的隽永的 Axiom. 格言 Property. 财产 Incident. 意外事件 None the worse. 无害的 Unorthodox. 非正统的 On the air. 广播 Island wide. 全岛全国 Viewers. 观众 A bit. 有点 Inconvenient. 不方便 Somewhere along the line. 某方面 Damage. 损伤 Nearby. 临近的 Mechanic. 技工 Replace. 替换 Anything but. 绝不一点也不好。这是我们今天的单词部分。我们今天的啊、uh, 英文绘画。呃，先让你看看英文的部分。Two down, ready to go. Then you drew a blank at both places. 
I checked the library's lost and found also. They had a pair which, surprising enough, fit the lock on my base coat chain. Then why not keep them if they are obviously yours? If they had been, those two the house would have been on the same chain ring, that is, so I took them back once I have this duplicate. You must have had to use sign language to get those officers to understand your meaning. They are not university graduates, like most who take your private classes. Actually, a couple knew passable English. One in particular turned up somewhat fluent. He may have belonged to traffic division. You are right, though. I made it a point to use Chinese as much as possible. And then had to walk from downtown clear to Shuinan. Your landlord unlocked the front door when you walked home and said he would have a duplicate made. Which he did. So I'll have reimbursed him for that. He and his family have undercharged me the whole time. I've rented from them as it is. Like the time-honored axiom says, don't lose the lesson along with the property. The whole thing may turn out none the worse. This incident was unorthodox enough to go on the air. And let these island-wide viewers learn from it as well. It was a bit inconvenient, but turned out not to cost as much as feared. The bicycle train didn't have to be cut off, you said? No, but it got damaged somewhere along the line, which meant that I ended up walking it all the way home. A nearby mechanic replaced it. The one near your house, you mean? As I remember, his dog is anything but friendly and has to be kept on a chain. How to say that? The noun is duplicate and the verb is duplicate. Duplicate, 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 mm -hmm. copy yeah. sign language, body language, language, Two down, three to go. Then you drew a blank at both places? I checked the library's lost and found also. They had a pair which, surprising enough, fit the lock on my base coat chain. Then why not keep them if they are obviously yours? If they had been, those two the house would have been on the same chain ring, that is, so I took them back once I have this duplicate. You must have had to use sign language to get those officers to understand your meaning. They are not university graduates, like most who take your private classes. Actually, a couple knew passable English. One in particular turned up somewhat fluent. He may have belonged to traffic division. You are right, though. I made it a point to use Chinese as much as possible and then had to walk from downtown clear to Shuinan. Your landlord unlocked the front door when you walked home and said he would have a duplicate made. Which he did. So I'll have reimbursed him for that. He and his family have undercharged me the whole time. I've rented from them as it is. Like the time-honored axiom says, don't lose the lesson along with the property. The whole thing may turn out none the worse. This incident was unorthodox enough to go on the air. And let these island-wide viewers learn from it as well. It was a bit inconvenient, but turned out not to cost as much as feared. The bicycle train didn't have to be cut off, you said? No, but it got damaged somewhere along the line, which meant that I ended up walking it all the way home. A nearby mechanic replaced it. The one near your house, you mean? As I remember, his dog is anything but friendly and 
has to be kept on a chain. 好，我们刚刚讲到你跟老外是沟通不是很好，你用呃这个 sign language 啊 body language。那我们说有时候我们英文很烂 ，poor English, broken English。刚刚学个 term 叫 passable English， 就还可以通过的，还能沟通的那个英文哈。不过整篇绘画基本在那个 chain c h a i n chain 那个字哈，就是说前面说是我们车的锁条对不对？叫 chain。后来讲一只狗，它也被 chain 住、被绑住，因为它不是 friendly。这个字有点蛮蛮幽默，在这个呃绘画里面。好，我们先休息一下。好，我们来看看这一段绘画的一些问题，看你做对不对。Where does the man say he has been? A theater, B school, C police station, D military base. C police station. What do we learn about the man? A his keys are missing. B he has served in the military. C he holds an advanced degree. D his fiance is an educator. A his keys are missing. How does the man perceive his landlord? A. Mysterious. B. Generous. C. Double dealing. D. Stingy. B. Generous. What comment does the woman make about the neighbor's pet? A. Docile. B. Curious. C. Shy. D. Vicious. D. Vicious. 这是邪恶的意思哈。好，接下来到我们的 Let's practice. 句型翻译练习部分。I took them back once I had this duplicate. 一旦我复制，我就会还回去了。我们要学习一旦 once 啊。我保证，一旦你毕业了，就会找到工作。I'm sure you will get a job once you graduate. I'm sure you will get a job once you graduation. 好，哪个错了？呃、uh, ，the second one it's it's Chinglish and it also because you need a verb there instead of a noun. 好，你要用动词 graduate， 不是名词 graduation。好，另外翻翻看。You're certain to land employment after graduation. 好 ，the land employment 就是有工作的意思哈。来，下面。一旦我到了美国，我会寄给你明信片。Once I arrive in America, I will send you a postcard. Once I arrive America, I will send you a postcard. 哪边错了？ Uh, you need a preposition there because、uh, otherwise it sounds like Chinglish. 嗯哼，同学常常会忘记啊，到达哪边在英文里面一定要有一个介系词 arrive in, arrive at。否则老师说是 Chinese， 你就讲的是中文式的英文哈。好，另外翻翻看。I'll mail you a postcard as quick as I land stateside. 好 ，land 我到达的意思哈。来，下面例句。One in particular turned out somewhat fluent. 结果发现有个人特别讲得很流利。我们要学习 in particular， 特别是。你是特别欣赏他哪一点？ Which in particular do you like about him? What in particular do you like about him? 哪边错 ？With which you you got to have something that it modifies. With what you don't always have to. 嗯哼，我们用 what 就对了 ，which 不行哈，要一些修饰的哈。好，我们另外做做看。Which of his specific qualities do you favor most? 对，你刚用 which， 你要用修饰。Which of his specific qualities 这样来对哈。好，那我们下面一句。我特别喜欢这个地方。I like this place in particular. I like this place particular. 好，哪边有错啊？ Uh, with the second one, you'd either have to say in or you'd have to say、uh, put l y to make it an adverb.、Mm-hmm. 如果你不用 in particular， 你就要用 particularly， 要加 l y 哈，不能够都没有用。来，另外翻翻看。This spot I find especially attractive. 好 ，spot 跟 place 是一样的意思。看下面 
He may have belonged to traffic division. 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 He may have This apartment belongs to an English teacher. 哪边有错？哦，因为 department doesn't get the meaning.、That's、好 ，department 是百货公司部门的意思。同学要搞清楚，是 apartment 还是 department？ 不要乱写。来，另外翻翻看。One English teacher owns this pad. 好 ，pad 就是公寓的意思，也可以这么说哈。来，我们看下面的。所有的荣誉都要归功于我的指导老师。荣誉叫 credit。指导老师是 advisor. All the credit belongs my advisor. All the credit belongs to my advisor. 哪一个错了 ？You have to have that preposition there. It sounds like Chinglish. 嗯哼，我们说 belong to 啊，这 to 不可以省哦。好，另外翻翻看。My advisor made the whole thing possible. 好，常常说我的老师了，每件事都可能了哈。他是一个归功的一个主要的功劳者。好，我们看下一句。The whole thing may turn out none the worse. 整件事情最后可能竟是无伤大雅的。我们要学 turn out， 最后竟是，最后凶手竟是一位青少年。青少年叫 teenager. The murderer turned out to be a teenager. The murder turned out to be a teenager. 哪边写错了？ Uh, the second one doesn't get the meaning because、mm-hmm. it, it sounds like the victim was the teenager、mm-hmm. instead of the killer. <laughs> 对，这个 murder 是谋杀事件，并不是 killer 啊。谋杀者是这个 murderer。好，不要写错哈。来，另外翻翻看。An adolescent was unmasked as the killer. 好 ，an mask 最后发现 ，mask 是我们面纱哈。那这个拿掉面罩哈。好，我们看下面。最后的结果竟是一个大震撼。The result turned out was a big shock. The result turned out to be a big shock. 好，哪一个有错 ？Well, the first one's not only ungrammatical, it also sounds like Chinglish. 嗯哼，因为第一个句子有 turn 的这个动词不能再把 was 放进去，要变不定词 to be 才对哈。好，一个句子一个动词就好了。另外翻翻看。People got quite a jolt upon learning the outcome. 好 ，jolt 是震撼的意思哈，跟 shock 一样。下面 ，As I remember, his dog is anything but friendly and has to be kept on a chain. 我记得他的狗一点也不友善，而他被一条链子锁住了。好 ，anything but 指除了什么以外，根本也不。我们做做看，我绝对不会吃那东西。I will eat anything but not that. I will eat anything but that. 哪边错了？呃、uh, ，first one's Chinglish. <laughs> 你 but 就除了什么字？变成 not， 变两个否定哈。另外翻翻看。Aside from that, my stomach can tolerate almost any food. 好，这个 tolerate 是容忍的意思哈。好，我们下一句。很不幸的，这间旅馆一点也不舒适。Unfortunately, the hotel is anything but comfortable. Unfortunately, the hotel is anything but comfort. 好，哪边有错？呃、uh, ，you need an adjective to end it instead of a noun. Comfortable 才对形容词哈。另外翻翻看。We unhappily find the hotel far from relaxing. 好，很好，同学，我们今天就做到这里哈。希望你能够有进步，翻译可以用真词法哦。不要忘记了，下回见，拜拜。